it, it's interesting you say that because I mean, I, I would imagine they would want to know more about this and would want to understand this. Um, so, you know, do you have any thoughts on how, how we can reach them and, and kind of educate them on, on what, what AI can do and not do today? Maybe they well, should come listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they should listen to this. Uh, I, I was recently on the Defense Innovation Board. And that indeed, that's what the Defense Innovation Board, you know, it was chaired by Eric Schmidt. It was all these grand poobahs of artificial intelligence on this board. And, you know, we were trying to help guide the government down a better path. And so it's not that they're unaware. They are aware. I think that though it's difficult for them to appreciate the breadth and depth of the problem. And you know, and indeed, this is why, um, you know, uh, there was recently DARPA, the Defense Advanced, Defense Advanced Research Projects Association uh, Agency, they put out this cool, sexy video that kind of showed how great they were in AI. So they had, it's called Offset, and they had swarms of little ground robots, in theory, working with swarms of UAVs. And they were trying to show just how awesome they were, just how great US military capability is in the AI space. And when you watch the video, it's kind of funny, because as soon as they start to pan the cameras around this combat town world where they've got everything, there's gigantic Q QR codes everywhere. And you're just like, you know, you cannot conduct war with gigantic QR codes uh, everywhere. And indeed, you know, this is what this really bothers me as a former military person. You just communicated to both the Russians and the Chinese and North Korea and everyone else just how incapable we are if we have to have giant QR codes <clears throat> on all of our entities to be able to navigate these systems in a war environment, right? And so it's exactly that, you know, I have been on this tirade for years trying to get the government to understand that it doesn't, you know, it's the un these are actually the known unknowns. We can't even forget the unknown unknowns. We don't even know what to do with the known unknowns because we've got one agency who's supposedly the most advanced research agency putting out videos that make you make it look like freshman, a freshman project at a university. So I think that we, it, it's just, it's not resonating. People are not getting it. You know, I'm constantly working with the government. I'm on many other advisory boards. We'll see if they eventually get it. But if, if we don't get it soon, what will happen is Something will happen in the military space, and it's already happening with cybersecurity. We're, we're clearly becoming vulnerable in areas that involved a lot of software. And uh, that's only going to continue until this country starts putting more money into it. <laughs>